is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing with you some colored contacts that I am trying right now. I wanted to give you guys a review and kind of just pop all of them in my eyes for you guys to see how they look on top of brown eyes. So I have four colors for you today and they are from the Air Optics brand. This brand is prescription only and my optometrist kind of gave me these to try out because after I got LASIK, so I could never get them before LASIK because I had really bad astigmatism and they don't make color contacts in Toric. Uh, so now I am actually just wearing the Plano ones. So let's get started. So quickly before I pop them into my eyes, I just want to say, like I said, they are prescription only. So unfortunately you can't just go and buy a pair without an actual prescription. Um, but they, I believe go from minus eight all the way to plus six. So it's, uh, you can get a prescription for both near and farsighted, but unfortunately, like I said, um, they don't make them for people with astigmatism. So I unfortunately don't have a good option if you do have astigmatism. Uh, the colors, as my optometrist was explaining it to me, colored contacts used to be made like the color was sitting on top of the contacts and so there was like fear of the pigments getting onto your eyeballs. Um, I think for these he was trying to tell me that the color is actually like sandwiched in between the layers of contacts. So like you don't have any fear of the pigments getting onto your eyeball and like permanently staining it or harmful chemicals and stuff like that. But also the Air Optics brand is uh, by Alcone which is actually like a pretty reputable, reputable brand for contact lens care. So before I got LASIK, I was wearing soft contact lenses all the time. So I'm very familiar with the brand. I'm very familiar with how they're supposed to feel on my eyes. So I feel like my review is pretty genuine and honest. So this one is already open, but this is kind of how they come. They're in like a pretty standard like prescription contact lens uh, variety and they come in boxes of six and you just peel them open and pop them into your eyes. So I have four colors to share with you guys. So I have honey, I have uh, sterling gray, I have gemstone green, and I think I have brilliant blue. So I'm going to pop them in kind of one at a time so you can see the contrast between the brown and then the color and then pop both of them in so that you can see how they look. So the first one I'm showing you is honey and this is how it sort of looks just sitting in my contact lens case. So this is honey in just one of my eyes and I don't know if you can tell all that much because I think it's meant to just be pretty normal like brown eyes. And so if I just scoot in, let's wait for my camera to focus. So this is how they look close up. Obviously this one is the one with the contact lens in and this one is just my normal brown eye color. So now with both of them in, this is how honey looks on brown eyes. Like I said, it's very subtle. Um, and I would say this is probably the pair that I wear most often just because like it's still pretty believable that these are my natural eyes. Next, these are the gemstone green ones. I feel like they're really obvious. You can really tell where my contact lens is. It's, it's very green. It covers up the brown actually pretty well. So zooming in, this is how it looks when it's just one eye in. You can definitely tell that um, it's, it's a pretty opaque green. So with both of the contacts in, this is how the green looks. I was wearing this green when I was doing my colored rain, like colorful pigments um, video. So you might recognize these if you've seen that video, but I really like actually how the green ones look. I think these are my second favorite out of the four. I, maybe I'm just going in order of favorite, but one of my friends um, who is also Asian was somehow blessed with green eyes. So this pair always just reminds me of her. And um, I do wear these quite a bit too, but not as often as the honey ones. The next ones I have are Brilliant Blue. So this is what it looks like when I just have one contact in. As you can see, it is like very obviously fake. Um, fake eye color. I just have not decided on these blue ones yet. They're very blue, which I really like. So if you are looking for a blue, like, I mean, this will achieve it. But to me, I just feel like blue eyes is something that like I've always wanted to try. And then like now that I have it in my eyes. I just don't really know if I like it that much. So this is how it looks when they're both in. Um, sorry, I feel like I'm still like purging the contact solution out of my eyes. I also want to mention that the line that I'm trying, like I know they have like blue versus this is like brilliant blue. Um, the ones that I'm trying were made to be more opaque versus like the regular blue and the regular like um, line of air cop optics were made to be more like natural and so the optometrist told me that since I have brown eyes if I really want to show up like these are the ones that I should try. The last set I have is sterling gray and I know gray contacts are super popular but I don't know if I've ever met somebody with 
naturally gray eyes. I don't think that's like an option when you normally fill out forms with your eye color, but I really like actually how this looks. I think I actually do like it better than the blue for some reason, but it does show up pretty well. It is like a very cool gray, so it almost shows up almost like blue tint. Uh, but I do, I do actually kind of like these. And so now with both of them in, this is what the, the sterling gray kind of looks like. So really quick, I want to touch on whether or not these are even comfortable um, and, you know, how they compare to regular lenses that I am used to wearing pre-LASIK. Uh, so they're not actually that great in my opinion, but I also don't have anything to compare them to. Um, so as far as comfort, I would say these are basically just as comfortable as regular contact lenses. I don't really feel them throughout the day if I am wearing them. Um, and so I don't really mind that aspect of it. My problem is I have really big irises and so it does kind of make my vision just a little bit cloudy. like on the edges like my peripheral vision is definitely a little cloudy um that's not to say i can't see at all out of my peripheral peripheral vision it just looks a, just a little bit cloudy to the point where i am just aware that i'm wearing the colored contacts and so i'm still able to go about my daily activities i'm still able to go to work and work you know a full eight to ten hours in them uh they are comfortable like i said but it it just makes me always aware that they're there and so sometimes that can be really irritating um, and sometimes I don't really notice it so I do also think there's like a break-in period with these contacts I know that sounds really weird and maybe that's just like my brain trying to filter out the cloudiness but the longer you wear them the more comfortable they get or like the less you notice them and so for me I feel like if you're looking for colored contacts to wear every day on a daily basis and you want it to look and feel perfect this is probably not the product for you if you are only wearing them like let's just say like for a night out or for special events or whatever a um, couple hours a day where you know if you're not reading a book so um, just be careful of like what you want to wear the contacts for they are a little bit pricey but I'm also used to toric lenses being really expensive so they might not be expensive for you if you are considering them because that means you don't have astigmatism and you don't need toric lenses. Anyway, I can go on a huge rant, but yes, I have uh, tried all four colors for you and basically, yeah, like I said, comfortable, but definitely a little bit cloudy in my vision. I do want to keep searching for contact lenses that are comfortable, so if you have suggestions, please uh, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and hit the subscribe button while you're here and I hope to see you next time. Bye!